What's up guys, it's Shrek, and this is the Nerf Rival knockoff. That's not its actual name. I just thought, A, it would be super sweet clickbait, and B, uh, it is definitely a knockoff. So somewhere between a Nemesis and a Percy's, this is like a shrunken Nemesis. I got mine off Amazon.com, and I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to check it out for your own self. The price kind of fluctuates, but in general, you're paying a little under 30 United States dollars for this bad boy. Now, 30 rounds of capacity up top in the drum, no removable nature to that uh which is pretty interesting powered off of double a batteries this is i think on the box referred to as the foam dart machine gun uh and inside here you can see that they actually have what appear to be pretty identical copies to rival flywheels and it gets uh performance that you'll see in a minute over the chronograph i'm actually re-recording this uh this intro segment so we don't get to make fun of the ridiculous grammar on the box uh simply because the file corrupted so we still have a perfectly good firing demo and test to show you but ergonomically actually quite sound really good grip shoulder stock a little short as it usually is uh, the ammo that came with it was crazy cheap but it'll shoot anything and in a world where there's lots of different uh, really good knockoff ammo uh, this was pretty bad knockoff ammo it was nowhere near as good as Luke's or a uh, headshot uh, and nothing even in the same stratosphere as like genuine ammo or uh, or the dart zone or the Zuru ammo. It seems like the bigger the company is, the better the ammo it makes in this space. But uh, other than that, it is semi-auto, which is just worth mentioning before we go put it over the chronograph, and it has a safety. So let's take it outside, let's show you guys what it actually does. Mini Nemesis. All right, guys, so we brought it out. We're uh, gonna put it over the chronograph. Uh, it's got eight batteries in it. The first two uh, just control this agitator, which is janky as all get out, and then the back six power the motors. That's a lot of alkaline to power these motors. So hopefully it performs. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so we're gonna power it on. There is no rev switch on this, which is a little unfortunate, but let's, uh... oh yeah. Crunch, 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 crunch. All right, we're not gonna tease it too much. Let's uh, let's see how this semi-auto blaster performs. Let's do our first two downrange. Let's just get a, a real, like, accurate idea of how this bad boy is gonna run. Oh, yikes, it's amazing already. So, clearly double A's, not the kind of chemistry we need here. Let's put a couple over. 80, 76, 74. Duplicate. I'm not gonna lie, those FPS readings are actually significantly better than I thought it would be. I wish it wasn't constantly revving, but... One. Well, that's not good. Oh, and we've got our first misfeed. 81. Okay, so I mean, I could get on board with this. Let me know, guys. Do you follow me on Twitch? Twitch.tv backslash VampireDrac. If you do, uh, come watch me talk about watches, and we're probably going to modify this thing. It's small enough that I feel like uh, some of the smaller nerfers in the SCNC might really get a kick out of it. And while rapid fire is not its forte, and it does not seem to enjoy. Uh, consistent shots like if we have it tilted at any sort of angle which at this stock performance it will need well that wasn't bad at all all right guys I take it back. For 30 bucks, the Mini Nemesis, actually a pretty decent purchase. It's a little under rival performance, but with guts like this and a little bit of twitch love, I think that this thing, I think I think it's got some uh, some potential. It's not confidential. Russian a Russian a Russian around. So over here we've got warning, leave time between shots to avoid jamming, that's definitely true. And then down here it says that this one comes from Shantou, China, which is a little funky. That's not where I would have uh, guessed it was from, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, call this one an okay buy. If you'd like to pick up one of your very own and support the channel in the process, uh, I'm pretty comfortable throwing an affiliate link down there for this guy. It's been a while since we've had a blaster worth throwing an affiliate link shout out towards, but not bad. I paid 30 bucks for it and I'm not actually that upset about it. So uh, the knockoffs, they get better and better every year, boys. Much love, Nerf on Drac out.